The Book of Ezra, Chapter 5. Then the prophets, Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Ido, prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of God of Israel, even unto them. Then rose up Jerubbabel the son of Shaltiel, and Jeshua the son of Josadak, and began to build the house of God which is at Jerusalem. And with them were the prophets of God helping them. At the same time came to them Tatanai, governor on this side of the river, and Shethar Banzai and their companions, and said thus unto them, Who has commanded you to build this house and to make up this wall? Then said we unto them after this matter, What are the names of the men that make this building? But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, that they could not cause them to cease till the matter came to Darius. And then they returned answer by letter concerning this matter. The copy of the letter that Tatanai, governor on this side of the river, and Shethar Baznai and his companions, the Arphashathites, which were on this side of the river, sent unto Darius the king. They sent a letter unto him, wherein was written thus, Unto Darian the king, Darius the king, all peace. Be it known unto the king that we went into the providence of Judea, to the house of the great God, which is built with the great stones, and timber is laid in the walls, and the work goes fast on and prospers in the hands. Then asked we those elders, and said unto them this, Who commanded you to build this house, and to make up these walls? We also asked their names to certify thee, that we might write the names of the men that were chief of them. And thus they returned us answer, saying, We are the servants of God of heaven and earth, and built the house that was built many years ago, which a great king of Israel built and set up. But after that our fathers had provoked the God of heaven unto wrath, and he gave them unto the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, the Chaldrian, who destroyed the house and carried the people away to Babylon. But in the first year of Cyrus, the king of Babylon, the same king Cyrus made a decree to build this house of God. And the vessels also of gold and silver of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that was in Jerusalem and brought them into the temple of Babylon. Those did Cyrus the king take of the temple of Babylon, and they were delivered unto me, whose name was Sheshbazar, whom he had made governor. And said unto them, Take these vessels, go, carry them into the temple that is in Jerusalem, and let the house of God be built in this place. Then came Sheshbazar, and laid the foundation of the house of God which is in Jerusalem. And since that time, even until now, has it been in the building, and yet it is not finished. Now therefore, if it seem good to the king, let there be search made in the king's treasure house, which is there at Babylon. There it be so that a decree was made of Cyrus and the king to build this house of God at Jerusalem. And let the king send his pleasure to concerning us this matter. Chapter 6 Then Darius the king made a decree, and search was made in the house of the rolls, where the treasure were laid up in Babylon. And there was found at Achmetha, in the place, in the palace that is in the providence of Medes, a roll, and therein was a record thus written. In the first year of Cyrus the king, the same Cyrus the king made a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem. Let the house be built, the place the, where they offered sacrifices, and let the foundations thereof be strongly laid, the height thereof sixty cubits, the bread thereof sixty cubits, with three rows of great stones and a row of new timber, and let the expense be given out of the king's house, and also let the golden and silver vessels of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took forth out of the temple which is at Jerusalem, and brought into Babylon, be restored, and brought again into the temple which is at Jerusalem, every one to his place, and place them in the house of God. Now therefore, Tatnai, governor beyond the river, Shethar Bosnai, and your companions, the Aphrodites, which are beyond the river, be you far from thence. Let the work of this house of God alone, let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God in his place. Moreover, I make a decree what you shall do with the elders of the Jews for the building of this house of God, that of the king's goods, even the tribute beyond the river, forthwith expenses be given unto these men, that they be not hindered, and that they 
which have need of both young bulls and rams, lambs for the burnt offerings of the God of heaven, wheat, salt, wine, oil, according to the appointment of the priests which are at Jerusalem, let it be given them day by day without fail, that they may offer sacrifices of sweet aromas unto the God of heaven, and pray for the life of the king of his sons. Also I have made a decree that whosoever shall alter this word, let timber be pulled down from his house, and being set up, let him be hung therein, and let his house be made a dunghill for this. And the God has caused his name to dwell there, destroy all kings and people that shall put their hand to alter and to destroy the house of God, which is at Jerusalem. I, Darius, have made a decree. Let it be done with speed. Then Tatnai, governor on the side of the river, Shethnar Bosnai, and the companions, according to that which Darius the king had sent, so did they speedily. And the elders of the Jews built, and they prospered through the, pro through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet, and Zechariah the son of Ido, and they built and finished it, and according to the commandment of God of Israel, and according to the commandment of Cyrus and Darius and Atartus, king of Persia. And this house was finished in the third day of the month of Adar, which is the sixth year of the reign of Darius the king. And the children of Israel, the priests and the Levites, and the rest of the children of the captivity, kept the dedication of this house with God of joy, and offered the dedication of this house of God the hundred bulls, 200 rams, 400 lambs, and for a sin offering for all Israel, 12 he goats according to the number of the tribe of Israel. And they set the priests in their divisions and the Levites in their courses for the service of God, which is at Jerusalem, as it is written in the book of Moses. And the children of the captivity kept the Passover upon the 14th day of the first month. For the priests and the Levites were purified together, all of them were pure, and killed the Passover for the children of the captivity, and for their brethren of the priests, and for themselves. And the children of Israel, which were come again out of the captivity, and all such he had separated themselves unto them the filthiness of the heathen of the land, to seek the Lord God of Israel, did eat, and kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy. For the Lord had made them joyful, and turned the heart of the king of Assyria unto them, to strengthen their hand in the work of the house of God, the God of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.